that we missed a section of tensiometric titration. Last class we discussed about uh, so today we are going to discuss about titration types and different types of potentiometric titration. Potentiometry is an analysis technique in which we can easily find out the unknown solution. Different times uh, that is discussed in our previous section as in base, protons, precipitation, and common symmetric titration. Today we are going to discuss the redox titration. In potential titration in which an analyte and titrate that undergo a redox reaction. For example, in this type of titration, the titrate treatment of iron solution with a cerium ion and this cerium 4 plus ion react with the ferrous ion, it is converted to cerium 3 plus and Fe3 plus. That is, Cerium undergo reduction reaction, Fe undergo Fe2 plus changes to Fe3 plus reaction, and this type of titration is known as redox titration. So, this type of reaction is known as redox reaction. And if we, by using this type of equilibrium reactions, we can able to find the concentration of an unknown solution by using an electrochemical setup, or we construct a electrochemical cell by using a reference electrode. And we using an integrator electrode, then we find the endpoint or unknown concentration. And this type of titration is known as redox potentiometric titration. And basic principle is NAND situation that is E cell is equal to E0 cell plus 1591 by N local concentration of oxidant by reductant by concentration of oxidant by concentration of reductant, and N is the number of electrons. Typical example if you titrate a ferrous ammonium sulfate against potassium dichromate K2Cr2 positive, that is K2Cr2 positive is the, taken with the burette uh, and we are adding a, within a, at a particular interval of K2Br2 and we construct a electrochemical cell by constructing a reference electron that is saturated calomel electrode is taken as the reference electron and iron solution that is ferrous ammonium solution in platinum is placed as the one of the indicators of electrode. Then we construct a electrochemical cell and the cell potentials depends on the concentration of iron solution. Cell potentials depends on the concentration of the iron solution. And the aim of the cell that depends on the concentration of the uh, iron solution or redox. Electrode that is ESL is equal to I means ESL that is ESL redox electrode minus E along electrode and the concentration or electron in case depends on the concentration of the uh, redox electrode or concentration of the ion solution. And then we are adding K2 CR2 from the burette the concentration of the ion solution changes. And once the concentration of ion solution changes, the EM of the cell changes. Based on that one, we find and the solution of titration and platinum is being a little solution. It is coupled with the calomel electrode and is coupled solely in the ion solution. The total potential is different and is measured in the each addition. And the end point potentially rapidly changes, but there is no significant change. Then we plot a graph and based on the graph, we can even find the volume of the titrate that is volume of the dichromate. The curve will not lies given as it from that volume we can able to find the Concentration. Next is complexometric titration. In complexometric titration, we aim is to find the concentration of a metal present in a mixture of or mixture of metal ions, or find the concentration of different metal ions present given in a solution. For that one, we are titrating a solution against a chelating ligand. For example, EDTA, ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid is a chelating ligand. We are titrating metal against a so given solution against EDTA. It form a stable metal EDTA complex. And the electrode potential we construct 
the electrochemical cell by using the electrode potential one of the indicator electron and its potential depends on the concentration of the metal ion then we are adding the edta the concentration from a metal edta complex then its um, concentration changes based on that one the electrode chemical electro emf of the cell changes and based on that uh, we can able to find the concentration of the ion uh, by a plotting a graph emf against the volume of titrant and that is known as complexometry potentiometry titration in complexometry we are using mixture of divalent or trivalent is titrated against edta next is precipitation titration here is a formation of insoluble metal salt such as silver mercury and copper takes place in precipitation titrations and it is very difficult to find a suitable indicator for the precipitation reactions so we can it is very much advantage if you are using a potentiometry and the indicator that depends on the concentration of the ion we are adding the titrant there is a formation of insoluble uh, precipitate and in that way the emf of the cell changes so we construct a electrochemical cell so its concentration or emf changes and that is known as precipitation titration and by using indicator electrode and we are using a uh, reference electron usually a saturated caramel electrode is used as the reference electrode and metal electrode and membrane electron is responsible for the um, and we use as the indicator electron and example is determination of mercury silver lead and copper and other ions using precipitants to form insoluble salt that is the different types of potentiometric titration acid base redox complexometric and precipitation titration hope you understood that is all about potentiometric titration thank you